has been a lot of good science in recent years touting the health benefits of owning a pet. Cats and dogs keep us company, encourage us to be more active, and always make us laugh. But people can help pets too. Case in point, a group of lucky seniors who were visited by some service puppies in training today. WPTZ's Allison Carey has their story. You're such a sweetheart. North Country Canine Services is a family-owned business. It trains puppies to serve as therapy dogs. This week, nearly a dozen Newfoundland puppies paid a visit to seniors at the Meadowbrook Healthcare Center. Going room to room by basket, the three-week-olds led to all sorts of smiles. Any kisses? Every time we come here, we hear a small story of how our, our puppy will impact a resident here that hasn't moved in weeks or hasn't spoken in months or has, of course, difficulties remembering things. And then we'll start talking about a dog they had 35, 40 years ago. I had um, a Boston Terrier, Boston Terrier, you know, with a, with a no, white nose and everything. It was really nice. And then I had uh, kind of animals, uh, not pedigree, but, but we loved them anyway, whether they were pedigree or not. <laughs> The residents are not the only ones who benefit from the visit. Socialization is also an essential piece of a service dog's training. So the puppies will, will visit Lowe's and Price Chopper and Walmart and several other homes, including Meadowbrook here. And what happens is they get picked up and they get handled and they get saturated with the sights and smells of all around them. So when they do finally get start, start to get trained for working with that autistic boy, then all of a sudden we have a great dog that's already prepared. While the little Newfoundlands hone their service dog skills, several Meadowbrook residents offered their dog sitting services. He's very comfortable, so let him sit. Can we keep him? <laughs> In Plattsburgh, Allison Carey, WPTZ News Channel 5. Thanks, Allison. Next on 530 now.